Henry Ford was founder of the Ford Motor Company and chief developer of the assembly line technique of mass production by creating the first automobile that middle-class Americans could afford. He converted the automobile from an expensive curiosity into an accessible conveyance that profoundly impacted the landscape of the 20th century. His introduction of the Ford Model T automobile revolutionized transportation and American industry. As the Ford Motor Company owner, he became one of the richest and best-known people in the world. He is credited with Fordism mass production of inexpensive goods coupled with high wages for workers. Ford had a global vision with consumerism as the key to peace. His intense commitment to systematically lowering costs resulted in many technical and business innovations, including a franchise system that put dealerships throughout North America and major cities on six continents. Ford left most of his vast wealth to the Ford Foundation and arranged for his family to permanently control it. Ten Principles of Economics How Markets Work Principles of Firm Behavior Principles of Income Distribution and Frontiers of Economics Principles of National Economy How Money and Exchange Rates Work How Economic Fluctuations and Economic Policy Work Translated into six languages and exported to the world The people of the world enjoy economics Henry Ford, born in 1863 in a rural area near Detroit, Michigan, was a farmer's son and was later known as the King of Automobile. Ford, who was highly interested in the gasoline engine, started to research it in 1891 at Edison Electric. In 1892, his work finally came to fruition and he created an automobile. Later on, even after two failed attempts, Ford successfully established the Ford Motor Company in 1903, and in 1908, he started manufacturing the Model T the world's first mass-produced automobile. In 1913, inspired by the slaughterhouse rail system, Henry Ford introduced the conveyor belt system for car manufacturing. The conveyor belt system carried parts to workers, allowing them to stay put in one place instead of moving around when assembling the vehicles. The former system where the workers had to move around was time-consuming as they had to transport components, prepare for the right tools, and so on during the assembly process. Thanks to the conveyor belt system, Ford Motors was able to reduce the manufacturing time from 5 hours 50 minutes to 1 hour and 33 minutes. Not only that, the company also achieved an economy of scale because it was able to establish a mass production system which dropped the cost by more than half. As a result of Ford's innovation, the price of a Model T fell from 825 US dollars to 290 US dollars. In 1918, more than half of the cars on the US streets were Model T. The conveyor belt system is more effective when used in combination with a 3SS. In a conveyor belt system, firstly, the car's body frame is built, secondly, tires are put on, thirdly, the car is painted, fourthly, the rest of the components are assembled, and lastly, after final inspection, the car is sold in the market. For space F efficiency, the conveyor belts move the cars down from the top to the lower full floors so the cars could be manufactured in a smooth and orderly way. Thanks to the 3SS, workers with no special skills could be put to work with only a simple education and training. One magazine ranked Henry Ford as the ninth richest man in history. His net worth, in modern standards, is 900 billion US dollars. At least twice more than that of Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft. Ford donated most of his fortune to creating the Ford Foundation in 1936. Ford's success with the conveyor belt system caught the eyes of other companies as well. McDonald's also adopted the conveyor belt system in its hamburger cooking. As you know, burgers are one of the best-known fast foods. It's the gold standard for hamburger cooking, allowing the masses to enjoy them at a reasonable price. 
It strived for simplification and standardization of products. McDonald's came up with a burger recipe that was tasty and could be prepared quickly in a standardized way. To this day, McDonald's burgers are served on 17mm buns with 10mm of vegetables. To achieve specialization in its workforce, McDonald's also employed the Division of Labor System. It has staff who only cook burger patties, fries, or make the sauce. McDonald's also started to use disposables to reduce the time spent on washing dishes. People can get what they ordered within 60 seconds at McDonald's. Ford's business model has influenced India as well. Govind Dapa Venkataswamy, the founder of Aravindai Hospital, was inspired by the McDonald's business operating model, so he also adopted the conveyor belt system in his hospital. He was able to provide cataract surgery, which costs 1,800 US dollars in the US, to his patients in India for just 18 US dollars and saved millions of Indians suffering from cataracts. The Aravindai Hospital's operating rooms have multiple tables on which patients undergo the same surgery at once. During the surgery, the surgeon does the most complex and sophisticated part of the surgery, and the physician assistant and the nurse perform the easier parts of the procedure. Ford's production methods have inspired McDonald's and the Aravindai Hospital. With the latter, the result was the gift of sight for many Indians.